Social conditioning plays a huge role in the education of our children, all right? For example, when a child is walking down the street, if they don't see any Black-owned stores in their neighborhood, that's part of their education. At that moment, they are learning, right, that this economic ecosystem does not include them. That's how that might make them feel. This is why it's important to be mindful that everything is considered education, right? Because we're constantly learning in our environment. So when we talk about the importance of understanding history, our heritage, our culture, that that's also a part of that, right? What they're seeing in their communities. What are they seeing in real time? And how does that impact um, how they feel about themselves, right? How they feel about their own um, culture, okay? So if we wanna build children up to love themselves, to have high self-esteem, to be pride, to, I mean, to have proud and pride and to do well in life, we got to make sure that our environments are well protected with um, an ecosystem, right, where children can see people that look like them conducting business. Because this is how you create the imagination where a child can see themselves doing something in the future that contributes to their community because we usually repeat those behaviors, right? If you don't see it, then sometimes you don't think it's a possibility. That's why we say representation matters. 